Now I have Winamp for Windows CE. As you can see, it works fine. I'm actually streaming live from the internet and you can confirm that by, you know, the network adapter activity indicator here on the notification zone. And I mean, if you just want to listen to MP3 or, you know, streaming from web radios, Winamp remains one of the best options ever. The interface doesn't occupy your whole screen. It gives the functionality that we need and it's lightweight and efficient. Yeah, so if we go here to Windows Explorer again and go to Program Files and go to Winamp, it has only 203 kilobytes and apparently no DLLs are required, so it's a self-contained application. All you get is a skin file here and the OGG and MP3 plugin for, you know, the coding audio. Then I'm not sure if it's in MP3 OGG, so probably the same DLL for both MP3 and OGG files, yeah? So very lightweight, very efficient. The readme file, actually that's the ini file, so all the settings get saved here when you leave the device. Um, well, let's get, get back to it. Uh, so you have your classic Winamp experience. Uh, if it will load. All right. So on the top here, you have um, the time. So the lapse of time of the track you're currently playing. And I can see here the, the graph is not working or maybe it doesn't work with remote files. And then here you get the title of the song and in that case I'm getting the, the URL. I'm not sure why I'm not getting the bit rate and the sample frequency here, but the sample rate, but the file is playing. You can turn on and off. The, you can hide and show the equalizer window or the playlist window, right? So if you want to get the very small window here, you know, minimize Winamp and then get back to, I don't know, Word and keep working while I listen to music. You can and it works fine, right? When you open the equalizer, you get the classic equalizer view. You can turn it. You can use an auto mode, or you can turn it on manually, and then you can adjust the frequencies that you like. And if for some reason the graph doesn't work, right? There are some pre presets here. I can load classical music, and it's a beta and it crashed. Let's go back. And I lost my file and the URL that was playing. Well, it doesn't matter. Uh, you can sort the equalizer here. And then here you get the classic Winamp playlist. So, for example, you can add a file, a whole directory or URL, and your playlist can contain a mix of all of them. You can exclude, right? You can select. Here are some, some options like to sort your list. You can sort by different parameters, right? Or you can, you know, get some file information to what is playing. You can export your playlist in HTML. You can read the extended info of the files that have selected. Here you can manipulate the playlists. Yeah, so you can have, you can swap between different playlists right here. Um, it's a beta, right? I couldn't find a newer version but it works and I hardly ever listen to music when I'm working or doing something else. It, I find it very distractive, but if you want to travel and be writing or working on some financial spreadsheet or whatever while on the go with your jornada, you can listen to music in the background. You can just minimize it as you wish, right? 
the Max Minize button doesn't do anything on Windows CE. You can close it, the application goes away, and that's it. Simple and straight to the point. Thanks for watching.